it's Slata Brouwer and you are now watching Violin Lounge TV, where you learn to improve your violin playing with joy. In this episode, I'm going to answer a question from one of our regular viewers, Valencia. And she asks, uh, I'm learning how to play Irish chicks and there is a funny thing that is done with a bow. It sounds like a skip. I don't know the tech name for it, sorry, that's okay. <laughs> but I can do it on accident, but not on purpose. Question, how to do it on purpose? Well, I made a video earlier about how to stop your bow from uh, jumping. Uh, so if you uh, make it on accident and you don't want it, then uh, watch that video. I will post a link to it uh, below in this video. And in this video, I'm going to explain how to um, play with jumping bow. And we call that spiccato. So you know the tech name. <laughs> and after watching this video, you can probably learn it. Well, the first thing about spiccato is the bow hold. Make sure that you have a good bow hold. Uh, some like with spiccato to make it a little bit higher like that. That you can easily lift the bow. What is especially important, your bow holds can be different, but it must be relaxed. Your fingers must be in balanced. They must be flexible and they must be trained to have the strength to do this. So spiccato is something you learn when you are playing violin already for a while. Um, so that's about the bow hold. Of course, you have to have some motion in your bow hold uh, while bowing. So you have to know this. Uh, this flexibility while bowing because you really need that suspension system so to say that spring system in uh, spiccato um, and then um, find the right place on the bow and that is somewhere above around the balance point but it differs per bow and of course per player um, so try to find it. I like to pivot the bow a bit to the to the front when I do spiccato because I find it that it e jumps easier. Uh, if you do it with all the hair, then it becomes very skippy uh, and it becomes a bit softer um, when you uh, when you do it with uh, just a pivoted bow when, and you use a little bit less of the hair. Uh, and it's a bit softer on in uh, in some way. Um, so bow hold, right place of the bow. Uh, you will find that if you do it really at the um, at the frog, it becomes yeah a bit. You have to work really hard to do it. And if you do it further on the bow, it's easy to jump, but it's less controlled. Um, then of course it's easier when you speed up a little because then you can use uh, uh, the natural jumping of the bow. You don't have to do a lot for it to jump. Um, so practice with, uh, don't tr try to practice it slowly. Um, then uh, what lots of people do when they try to learn spiccato is really jump very high and then you go, don't get the speed and you don't get the nice sound because it needs to skip, but it doesn't uh, needs to chop or something. So, um, try to stay close to the string um, if you're practicing it at the first time practice it not from the air so you shouldn't see my bow is in the air and it's sometimes bouncing on the string because then you get uh, this you really need to have a moment that it's uh, lifting and then on the string this slow motion and then back again so So try to do this from uh, a bow that is on the string. So try to bow, lift a little, back, lift a little, back, lift a little, and back, lift a little. So try to practice it from the bow being on the string and not being from a bow that is uh, 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 flying in the air and sometimes touching the string because then it um, won't be very, uh, very nice. So lots of people think that you really get a bow in the air but uh, in a lot of people in spiccato don't even the bow doesn't even li literally leave the string it just goes like this in the spring system and that's already enough because if you do it too big you won't get the speed 
um, and you really want to have a sound in it. So you really, it's, it's, it's still bowing, it's not pizzicato or something. So you really want to start with uh, f uh, from your bow on the string and going like that from there. Just lift it a little and like this and lift it a little very slowly and then speed it up and use the natural jumping of the bow. Don't just, uh, it's no hard work. Um, so you only have to kind of tell the bow to do it and the bow does it for you. That, that's the, the, the way to, uh, to go. <laughs> Um, I hope I, that this has been helpful, Valencia. Um, so, and of course, not only to Valencia, but also to the other viewers. Uh, if you like this video, then please like it and share it with your friends. If you'd like to receive more valuable and actionable violin tutorials, then please go to violinlounge.com. You will find lots more. And you can also subscribe to receive my two free gifts. Thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. Happy playing. Bye bye. Join me in the free workshop Weight versus Pressure, where I teach you to play the violin effortless with a beautiful tone. Go to www.violinlounge.com slash free hyphen workshop to get direct access to this workshop. I'm sure it will be worth it.